Once you have met with your advisor or otherwise selected your courses and added them to your timeline, you are ready to build your schedule, including days, times, and professors. Click Go to Plan and Schedule. Review or revise your timeline as necessary. If you see any yellow flags on your timeline that you have not previously discussed with your advisor, then you may need to rearrange the courses on your timeline or add prerequisite courses to your timeline. Here we see that Math 0203 College Prep Math 2 must be completed prior to taking Math 0313 College Prep Math 3. To add this prerequisite course, click the text inside the yellow flag. Click Add Course to Plan. Select a term and Add Course to Plan. Return to your timeline to check your work. Use the drag and drop feature to rearrange the courses on your timeline as necessary. If you do not see any yellow flags on your timeline, then you are ready to build your schedule. Go from timeline to schedule. Use the arrow keys to select a term. Let's focus on early fall 2020. The courses you have selected are lined up on the left. Here we see Math 0313 and Psychology 1113. To learn more about these courses, click on the course code or course text. To choose sections, including days, times, and professors, click on the blue text that says View Other Sections. To find a section that works for your schedule, you may browse all sections available. Note that there are two pages of sections available for Math 0313. So if you don't find what you are looking for on page one, go to page two. Once you have found a section that works for your schedule, click on that section and carefully review the section details. Section details include the name of your instructor, meeting information such as the days, times, and locations where you are scheduled to meet for this class, term dates including the first day of class and the last day of class, as well as the seats available in this section. Section details also identify prerequisites. Remember that unless you see a yellow flag like one of these on your timeline, then you have already satisfied these prerequisites. Once you have considered all section details, click Add Section to add this section to your schedule. Repeat this process to choose sections for each course until all planned courses are scheduled. You are also welcome to filter sections and narrow your search to a specific location, day, time, or instructor. For example, to search for online only sections, choose location and click online. With this filter in place, view other sections will show only online sections available. Once all planned courses are scheduled, then you are ready to register. You do not have a seat in any course until you register. To register, push the blue button that says register. 
Note the subtle distinction between a planned course, highlighted in yellow, and a registered course, highlighted in green. It is also possible to use the drop button to remove yourself from a course. You can register or drop any time during the add drop period. You can continue to drop after the add period at any time prior to the withdrawal deadline. You should now be able to find, choose, add, register, and drop any course. Keep in mind, unless approved by someone in the Student Success Advising Office, you should not register into more than two courses in an eight-week period. Full-time status for financial aid is considered 12 credit hours for the full semester. If you register into at least six credit hours for the early and late eight-week periods, you will be meeting full-time status. If you are blocked from registering into any course, a note should appear on the top of the page indicating if there is a hold, what office you should contact to resolve the hold. For further questions or concerns, please visit the registration website. You can also visit the Student Success Advising website to find out more about scheduling an appointment with your Student Success Advisor. We offer online appointments if you cannot, should not, come to campus. Have a great semester.